Hey y'all, Danny Moon here. Call me what you want, as long as it's respectful. I don't want this to be a long video. Um, I really don't. <laughs> so I came upstairs and I sat on the bed and um, I just got the overwhelming feeling of gratitude. Um, but when I was cleaning, um, when I was cleaning, I got the sense of tell the people about development developments development of your gifts how to develop your gifts can am i a guru and how, do i know how to develop these gifts not at all <laughs> not at all but when i get a strong knowing of something then i know then that, that is part of the development of my gifts how do I know what a strong knowing is? You feel it in your bones. <laughs> you feel it in your DNA. You feel it in your cells like a, mm, you know, like a, mm, like that. So, and from, and I'm still going through it, y'all. I know y'all been checking on me. Y'all leave the best comments. I love my subscribers, even the new people who don't know me. Like, I love y'all just for keeping the algorithms going, just for showing me love and support. And the reason I bring that up is because I'm going through stuff and spirit still leads me right here. This is my altar. <laughs> Y'all know. Y'all see, this is my altar. Um, and they still lead me right here. And it's a knowing that I have a job to do when it comes to helping in any kind of way that I can, whether it's through a Zodiac, whether it's through a collective video, whether it's what I'm feeling right at the moment, like, you know what I'm saying? So that is what I mean by knowing it's a strong sense of doing something now. You know, I, I even call that like a purpose that this is my purpose to come and tell you about like developments, development of gifts or of my gifts, <laughs> okay? I don't know why I can't say that. Development of gifts, okay? Your abilities, your, everyone has these gifts, but it, it's like a muscle. You have to practice it, you know what I mean? Um, so one, I always talk about meditation. I always talk about, this is a safety pin, just in case y'all wanted to know. <laughs> um, I always talk about meditation, um, I also tell y'all about sitting in the power meditation. It's, it's, they're very different. Um, of course, I would tell you to go on YouTube University, put in a five-minute meditation, sit quietly. I don't want to tell you to clear your brain, but if you can, that would be good. But I go to the beach. In my mind, I go and I sit on the beach. No one is around. I'm just looking at the sunset, looking at the sky, looking at the water, and it's a clear beach. Sometimes it's in the day, sometimes it's the evening. And I just sit there and I look at myself. So that is, you could do that for five minutes. And then you progressively go on and on from there. You know, whatever your, wherever your happy place is, is, is the foundation of meditation for you. You know what I mean? Um, intention. Intention is something else, boy. And what I'm talking about, like... I was going to sit down here and just press record. But before I did that, I had to pray and I had to ask for my guardian angels to come in. I had to ask for my spirit guides to come in. I definitely had to ask for Puda to come in to help me gather the words to speak to you. <laughs> you know, that was my intention. What do you want me to tell them about development of gifts? Um, because when I was sitting on my bed, I said, you know what? I feel like I'm hungry, but I'm not eating today. I'm just surviving off my water on Sundays. That's what, and then I don't do it every Sunday because sometimes I'm just super, super hungry. So I don't do it every Sunday. But when I get this urge of like, you don't have to eat, don't eat. <laughs> you know what I mean? That is a knowing, you know what I'm saying? So again, y'all, fasting I don't know why it took me this long to realize that fasting is like a clear, it clears your body out to channel. 
it clears your body out to get downloads it clears your body out to get messages and it is not easy especially for a big girl like me <laughs> okay um so but that's the mind that's how your mind works my mind my subconscious mind is telling me oh it's not easy but it's easy i'm just when i feel like i'm a little hungry i just zip on my water <laughs> boom <laughs> okay and then when i feel like i'm hungry another thing i do is i go to the gym or i go to the park or i clean i keep myself busy you know what i mean so take these little tidbits and try it and now i usually i ask you to do something for seven days but now i'm at just asking you to do it for 24 hours and because it's late i don't even know what time it is i always tell you that i don't even know what time it is i think it's like five o'clock five something um, now I'm giving you the whole week to get your mind wrapped around not eating one Sunday. Just try it. You know what I mean? Just try it. If you can't do it, that's fine. Maybe you could say, you know what? One Sunday I'm going to do intermittent fasting. I'm going to start eating at 12 and I'm going to stop eating at eight. But spirit, God, the universe, whoever you look up to or look for the prayer or prayer, they want to see you try. When I talk about baby steps and I talk about meditation and I talk about fasting, which I don't really talk about fasting a lot, you know what I mean? Because I'm just on this journey. Um, when I talk about these things, these are things that you want to get in tune with so that you can get in line. You know what I'm saying? To, with the universe. I hope you know what I'm saying. Another reason why I came to do this video is that it's October, y'all. This is Halloween month, okay? It's my birthday month too, y'all. How many more days I got? Today is the 6th. Happy birthday, daddy. It's my daddy's birthday. Um, he transitioned, but he's still with me. Um, the veil is super thin. We just had that new moon and we had that eclipse on the 2nd. The energy is still lingering. I don't care what nobody says. If you are an intuitive, if you are a tarotist, if you have, if you even think you got these gifts, those energies are still lingering. Now the seventeenth is coming up, and this that's the full moon. I'm telling you. So all I can say on that is, if you going through something, let me take that back. You don't even have to be going through something. If you just feel strange, <laughs> if you feel heavy, if you are having headaches, if you are not feeling good, if you are feeling different, please understand these energies is working with you, okay? I saw a NDA today, a near-death experience. I am so addicted to those, so please go watch one. NDE. I said NDA. NDE, near death experience. And this lady was talking about the book of Enoch. She was talking about how the, the different um, stages in heaven, like um, of realms, like, you know what I'm saying? Things like that. I don't want to go into it. It just was super good. Okay. So NDEs, go watch them. They're not scary. Everybody has a different experience, but they're very similar. So everybody can't be lying. And um, it just, just stay open. This is the month. You should stay open for the rest of your life. But this is the month to really stay open, especially if you're going through something, finances, a relationship, family issues, direction of life, wanting to change careers. If you go or anything with your kids, uh I'm I don't know why they're giving me like people in jail. It's like people could be in jail, I don't know. Um if you're going through any legal issues, this is the time to stay open for clarity. I didn't say stay open for answers. Stay open for clarity. And you know what? You just might get some answers through that clarity. And like they're showing me the Three of Swords right now. The Three of Swords is about heartache, 
It's about a loss, grieving, such as I. Um, it's about sadness, the Three of Swords. But I tell people the original Rider Waite deck, when you look at the Three of Swords in that particular deck, there is a... Um, a, a storm like a like a, a storm cloud behind behind the picture that it's depicting it's it's a storm cloud and I tell people this is just a moment it might feel like oh my finances I've been struggling forever oh I've been in this particular place home house my life I've been in this particular place forever it's just a moment it's going it's going to it's going to pass. My mother said, this too shall pass. Now, you can help it move faster by meditating, by being kind to other people, by saying sorry to people, um, by being more compassionate to people, um, by looking at the habits that you have. You might have some particular habits you know, like I, <clears throat> I always tell y'all, I got a potty mouth. By looking at that, you know, and trying to correct those things, you can move this along quicker by taking action, baby steps. You can move this along quicker by reaching out to your resources, by coming together and uniting. You can move this along quicker. It's all up to you. I don't like that. You know, I look up to God. <laughs> I pray to God. I don't like that. I don't know. I don't know if I should say that. I was going to say, I don't like that he gave us free will. <laughs> because free will makes it hard for us to... It makes it hard. It, free will to me makes things really hard. But on the other hand, I'm very grateful that God put a piece of his energy, his or her energy within us. And that we can make our own choices to push forward and have resilience and triumph at the end. Six of Wands. I am so grateful on one hand that I have free will. But on the other hand, free will is hard. Because it's hard to make these decisions. It's hard to get unstuck sometimes. <clears throat> it feels like that. But if you ring, if you if you pull it back and go back to that knowing I talked about, that knowing, I know that Puda is with me. I know that my mother's with me and my father's with me. I know that there is the energy of God. I know about the other realms. I know about other beings. You know what I'm saying? This is a knowing in my heart. Like I can't get rid of it. There's no doubt, no shadow of a doubt. You know what I'm saying? So when you get to that place, then you become more open to the universe and to messages and to clarity. So I just wanted to come in and, and say that I, I am going to give some messages. Um, I am seeing a teddy bear. I don't know if someone has a, a teddy bear from when they was younger or if someone's, oh, my friend's name is Teddy. Hey, Teddy. Um, or, or if a teddy bear is significant to you in some type of way. Um, huh, what else? I did ask them to open up the realm so that any deceased loved ones wanted to come through and give messages. And the only reason I'm telling y'all that is because before I asked that, I felt the realm opening. I felt them listening to me. Um, our ancestors, you know, and I felt a lot of great grandmother and grandmother energy come through. Um, and I don't want to start with the name spirit, please. I don't want to start with the names. But I am going to say like a G is coming through. I don't know if you had a GG or somebody like a grace in your family or something of that nature. But that is coming through. I always work with the Cosmic Tarot. I love this deck. And again, I don't want this to be... Um, a long video. I really just wanted to come on here and talk to y'all about fasting and inter intermittent fasting 
and just working on our routine. Today feels like a very spiritual day. It feels like the veil is thin. And it feels like we all have, like they all have a, they all, as in your spirit gods in the realm, Jesus, God, whoever you believe in, has a very close eye on us today. And this could be for the month of October, or it could be for the rest of your life. But today feels very significant. Today is October 6th, my father's birthday again. So maybe the 6 means something to you. The number 6. Look it up. The spiritual um, number, the angel number, the biblical number. Look it all up. Because the reason why I don't just want to give you the answer is because no one's giving me the answers. Like, I have to look these things up. I have to research. And if you want to develop your gifts the way, the way I'm doing it, or you, you're a part of my clan, then we all have to do the research. You really should leave in the comments, like, what the angel number six means, you or what it means to you, you should give some feedback in the comments on any tarot people you listen to because you're helping the community by doing that. You know what I mean? And by helping the community, that means you're helping the planet. <clears throat> All right, spirit, talk to me. What do you want uh, the collective to know? I'm getting a Joyce and I feel like Joyce Myers just popped up in my brain. She is a uh, I don't know if she's a pastor, but I watch her. I love her. Joyce Myers. I love her books. I love her when she's on TV, um, pastoring, doing what she does. Like, So look her up, Joyce Myers. <clears throat> um, Spirit, talk to me for the collective. What do you want them to know? Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is about making a decision. Seven of Cups is about looking closely, um, looking closely at your choices, at your decisions. Like, what's in front of you? Like, what decisions do you have to make? You know, what do you have to weigh your pros and cons? And another thing I didn't touch on, but I always talk about journaling. For some reason, writing, like these spirit guides, they pick up writing like it's nothing. You know what I mean? Um, they pick up like whatever you put on paper, like it's nothing. They're giving me two things now, two separate totally things. I feel like someone's stomach might be hurting. Um, or this could be the future, your stomach, like diarrhea or something like that. So just watch what you're eating. It is time to detoxify. You know what I mean? It is time to get these. If you're going to eat, it's time for you to like vegetables, fruit, um, H2, H3O is what they call it. Like the, the, the water from the fruit, um, or H2O water, you know, um, Oh, and the, what was the other thing? They, oh, they gave me the number 369. And we all know about the 369 method. Three times in the morning, you write your affirmations or your intentions down. And you should write it as if you have it already. You know what I mean? Fake it till you make it. I know a lot of people don't like that saying, but hey, you know what I mean? Write it as if you have it already and be practical. You know what I mean? Um, Six times in the afternoon, nine times at night. That shouldn't, that should not be, that really shouldn't be hard for anyone to do. You know what I mean? So, and just like me, I talk like that and I'll start it and then I won't continue with it. Like, that's the thing about this whole spiritual thing. You got to be consistent with what you do. You know what I'm saying? So I'm working on it. So we all just got to work on it. Okay. And you see, I love this deck, but whenever I use it, if they, it's like they're telling me all eyes on you. It's like all eyes on us. They want to see us doing the work. And if you need to clean your altar, like my altar is disgusting. I really need to clean it. But that's what I'm going to do when I get off this video with y'all. So please clean your altar. And I feel like people are cleaning their bathrooms right now. Or maybe you're just, it's Sunday. People are doing a, a, a big clean or something like that. That means these messages are for you. You need to listen to this because they're trying to tell you don't only clean your home, don't only clean your altar, clean out your system. You know what I mean? Dig in your spiritual bag. You know what I'm saying? Like today is a very 
potent day for some reason. And if you need to go out and ground yourself, ground yourself. They're showing me a butterfly. Butterflies is about transformation. Um, butterflies are just sign from, signs from heaven. You know what I mean? They're giving me the numbers one, two, three. You see how they come in so quickly? They're giving me the numbers one, two, three. And so that means progress. Even if you don't feel it, they're telling you, you're making progress. The high priestess. Look at that. The high priestess. <laughs> the high priestess. And I, I, the diamonds are a girl's best friend. And I said that in another video. It could be because I'm using these cards. They're like, a lot of them are like with the diamonds and stuff like that. But, and I remember me specifically saying that before. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. So, somebody needs to get like their wedding ring cleaned or I don't know, something about their wedding ring. You could have lost it and found it or something like that. Um, the high priestess is about your magic. It's about your energy. It's about your intuition. It's about th that knowing. It's about a lot of people getting a lot of downloads today, this week. It's about developing your gifts. They're also showing me like her red lip. Um, before I got on here, they was telling me, um, they was telling me, Sorry, my daughter's out there. I was listening. Um, they was telling me about the root chakra and the solar plexus. Now, all of our chakras need to be cleansed. You need to just, that five-minute meditation I told you about, YouTube University I told you about, all you got to do is meditation for your root chakra, meditation for your solar plexus. It's in there. That's all you got to do. Okay? And you got to be consistent with it consistent. You got to do it every day. And you got to have the intention in your heart that you want to clear your blockages. <clears throat> and now they're telling me, they're telling me, yes, do these things, do these things. But they, one thing, most of all that they want you to, I don't know if you can hear me. I'm sorry. I'm looking down here. Um, one thing, most of all, they want you to have is faith. You got to have faith. I have the faith. Spirit, talk to me. What do you want the collective to know? What else do you want them to know? The tower. Oh, yes, three. Three cards came out. So the tower. Oh, four cards. So the tower. The tower is, it. people don't look at it as a good card. Um, but if you are the high priestess, you should see the tower come in and you should make moves before the tower can come. You know what I mean? Usually the tower comes into your life when the universe has no other choice. Like you, you're sitting still, you're stuck. Like you, 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 you're not doing anything. You're not taking enough action. You know what I'm saying? So the tower is here to shake things up. The tower is here so that. Things can change in your life. The tower is beneficial for you. Um, and see, the tower came out and then the death card came out. The death card is about shedding the old, which is the tower, clearing people, places, and things out of your system, even food, um, Drinking more water. I don't know that why that they just threw that in there. Um, and bringing in like newness, clarity, new, new. Um, and you see how I put my hand on my heart, like new clarity, openness of the heart, uh, willingness to, to willingness to do different things, willingness to get out of the box, even if you're scared. We can all hold hands energetically we can all hold each other's hands you're not alone you know what i mean and sending i'm giving you this message but you need to pass these message on to someone else i feel like somebody knows somebody who is very negative and and so that may push you away a little bit because someone is like very negative and you know what? Sometimes I go through that. Sometimes I go, I'll be like, oh, thank you. But I always got a butt behind something. I'm always like, oh, yeah. I'm always whining about something. You got to catch it and you got to clear that out. Okay. There is no but. You know, it's only gratefulness if you're watching this video. It's only about gratitude. 24 minutes on the clock. So 24 might be a, might be a, um, 
And look at that, 24 equals six. Six might be a big number for all of us today. And that's something I'm going to do um, before I clear my altar, clean my altar. I'm going to see what this six is. Please leave it in the comments. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm just putting it out there, whatever they give me. Six of Pentacles. The universe is working with us. I'm telling you, especially at night, especially in your sleep. The universe is, they're working with us all the time, whether we're awake or asleep. But mainly when our bodies are still, when our cells are, are low, like when our cells are laying dormant, when we're asleep, in our dream state, you know, even if you don't remember your dream, the universe is working with us, okay? So the Six of Pentacles is a give or take. You got to work with the universe now. Somebody needs to write a book. And I'm getting a name, Joanne. Out the blue, totally. <laughs> Someone needs to write a book, and somebody's name is either Joanne or Joanna. Or you know somebody named Joanne or Joanna. Um, Knight of Pentacles. And these are general messages. Whatever comes to me is what I'm giving to you. So it's not not everybody knows a Joanna or a Joe. A jo. Maybe you know a Joe. Um, Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is a, a, a opportunity. The, the knight means a person of pentacles is someone's telling you about a, 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 a opportunity that, that can grow. Someone's just telling you about your gifts. Someone, the opportunity is you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The opportunity lies within you. You know what I mean? Um, and it's about growing it. It's about uh, sticking on this path, no matter how crazy it might seem. Because I'm telling you, these days been real crazy for me, y'all. Real crazy. But all I can do is get through it. But I get through it knowing that I'm going to come here and talk to y'all. So I thank y'all so much for having my back. Seriously. <clears throat> and I, I don't know why they... At first, I thought I heard the name like Maxine or Max. Um, but then it turns into like maximize. I feel like they're saying to maximize your opportunity, maximize um, what's in front of you, um, maximize the what what's in front of you, your skill set, um, this energy, maximize it. You expand it, work on it so that it can maximize, so it can so it can expand. Spirit, talk to me. Temperance. Take your time. Take your time. Don't try to rush through all of this stuff. Don't try to make a thousand decisions at one time. Make make one to make one decision at one time. Pace yourself, but do it. It's not about rushing. It's not about getting a thousand things done. It's about doing small steps. Do it. Stop turning to a tarotist, not saying that you shouldn't get a reading, because I do do readings, but stop always looking for the answer, like, on YouTube. <laughs> a friend of mine told me that one time. The answer is within you, but in order to get that answer, you have to, like, sit still. You have to open up you to the universe. Your 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 chakras, which is like a tube to me, has to be clear in order to hear in order to hear the answer or get clarity. Take your time, but do it. Temperance is about healing. So anything you feel like you ain't healed, heal on, past life trauma, not past life, like childhood trauma, it could be past life trauma, who knows? Get a past life regression reading. I don't do those. <laughs> um... I don't know, y'all, but healing is something that we all need to do. It's an everyday thing. So, you know, my friend Erin E. Dot, I love you. She wrote me a comment on my video, um, and she said, it's okay not to be okay. And I'm telling you, it is okay not to be okay. But what I don't want you to do to, is to sit in that. Like, I'm not okay, and just sit there. Like, I don't want you to do that. Okay, it's okay not to be okay, but when you're not okay, you try your best to strive to be better, to try to strive for it to be a better day. Okay, <clears throat> spirit, talk to me. 
Temperance is about um, creating as well. Create. Look at all of these um, major arcanas coming in. All of the black cards are like the major arcana card, cards. Um, I'm seeing the beach, but remember I told you that is, that's where I go when I meditate, to the beach, but I am seeing the beach. Um, I feel like, I want to say, I don't, this is, they're giving me, they're giving me this. That's where magic happens. That, they just gave me that sentence. That's where magic happens. Um, the magician is about you. See how the finger's pointing to you? <laughs> okay. Nothing's going to fall in your lap, y'all. It's an energy exchange with, with your spirit gods and with your deceased loved ones. You got to give in order to get. All right? Thank you. Wheel of Fortune, and it's so crazy that this card and another major arcana come out. It's so crazy because I was just about to give the message that I feel like money's coming in. Money is coming in. Whether it's big or small, money is coming in. And it might be in November, y'all. So give yourself the temperance card. Give yourself some time, patience. Now, earlier, when I first pressed this video, what card did I tell you that I saw? The three of what? I'll give you a minute. The three of swords. Okay. When I ask my friends and family, my deceased loved ones, my guardian angels to come in, they come in. Okay. So this is showing me that something happened, some, some, some type of hurt, pain, loss, something that's on your mind, some type of depression, some type of hurting your heart is, is on you, but you're stepping on the wheel in the right direction. This wheel of fortune didn't come out in reverse. It came out upright. So that means whatever happened that hurt you so bad, it was supposed to happen. You might not see it that way. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Because trust me, y'all, with the events that's happening in my life, I didn't see anything coming. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's, the, na it's the nature of life. Change. Whether it's drastic change, whether, whether it's hurtful change, it's the nature of life. You have to just keep stepping on the wheel in the right direction. Okay? Bottom of the deck is the page of swords. Somebody is in their mind, like you're, you're just overly thinking about something. The page of swords is my learning card. My page of swords is my going back to school card. My page of swords is um, getting wisdom from someone. Um, somebody is trying to tell you something. This could be communication from the other realm. You know what I mean? The page of swords is um, my social media card. So if it's, if you're if you're creating content, that's good. See what else you can learn if you're on there. You should be learning on social media. You know what I mean? You shouldn't just be scrolling. And somebody could be going, they're making me stare at the clouds. And I don't want to keep giving the same messages in every video. But first the message was, is like, look at the clouds for signs. But I always tell y'all to do that in all these videos. But now they're giving me like, there's a, someone's going through a storm. And it could be within yourself, you know, of just not being sure of what to do, uh, you know, direction in life. You could be just going through a storm within yourself with other people, with family, with spouses or whatever. But spirit, they're showing me this storm moving. So they're saying like, this is a moment in time. This is a moment in time. It, sh it too shall pass. Sorry, y'all. I'll be in the zone. Oh. 
I'm just hitting and knocking everything. All right. Spirit, what do you want the collective to know? Two more, please. I don't want this to be a long video. Two more. Six of Wands. I told you, Six of Wands is the is the triumph, victory card. But people look at this card and they get so happy. Like, Six of Wands means you've been through a lot of shit. Six of Wands means victory is here. Whether you feel it or not, it, it, it's coming your way. Don't worry, it's coming your way. Someone's going to, um, I want to say pat you on the back or appreciate you or tell you they appreciate, they appreciate you or something like that. But Six of Wands is here. Victory is here, okay? You've been through the trenches. They're telling me like you've been through the trenches, okay? But victory is here. And yeah, some of you are probably saying, where, where, where? S stop it, is what I want to tell you. If you're watching this video, that means you got some type of internet. That's victory in itself. If you're watching this video, that means... That means something. You got a piece of change. You know what I mean? That's victory in itself. You know what I'm saying? So you got to start looking at the small details, the small things, the fine lines, the fine print. <clears throat> I'm getting the name Juan. It could be Jose, but I feel like it's Juan. And those are two different names, but I'm just saying. A David and a Derek. One more, please. And like a La Vida. Something with an L and a V in it. And maybe two T's. Six of Swords. Look at all of this victory. Six of Swords is like calming yourself down. Seeing the light. You know, getting through that tunnel of darkness and finally seeing the light six of swords is like you said fuck it i ain't dealing with that shit no more like sorry my mouth y'all i'm potty mouth i'm working on it <laughs> six of swords is about leaving the chaos and coming into cal calmer waters and what does that mean that could mean you just had a bad day yesterday and today you're able to breathe you know what i mean Six of Swords could be about moving, like you want to move. I say that in every video, too. Because there's somebody out there who's watching this video who's about to move or wanting to move or needs to move. You know what I mean? Three of Wands. Three of Wands. I love Three of Wands because the universe is saying yes, but sometimes I don't like Three of Wands because Three of Wands is contemplation. Like It's almost like, okay, the universe is giving me the green light, but I'm just going to stand here. Like, who? you're not helping nobody by doing that. You're not helping nobody by doing that. They're giving me digestive system, di digestive. Like, somebody got something going on with their tummy or, or, or with their digestive system. Make me, mm, make me honor. Sacred soul messages, 38 minutes on the clock. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Spirit, what do you want the collective to know out of here? Yeah, when I look at these tarot cards, the way they lined up, when I look at them in down like this, the Seven of Cups, that was your first card. That was our first card. Seven of Cups is about options and opportunity. It's about making a decision, but making the right decision, looking real close. With the Six of Pentacles, that's the universe saying, I'm giving you all of this opportunity in front of you. If you don't see it, y'all, I'm telling you, something is going to come across your desk. It doesn't have to be at work, but something's going to come across that you're going to hear of something and you might, you might hear of another thing from another person and another thing from another person. It doesn't only have to be with a job. It could just be, should I go to the park tomorrow? Like it should, it could be something very simple, but the universe is giving to you, but you got to realize that you got to see that you got to stay Grateful for life, y'all. Grateful. I'm feeling my breath as I'm talking, and I'm so grateful that I still have life in my body. 
You know what I mean? I went to the gym today because I try to go Sunday through Thursday. Um, and I try to, you know, I drop my kid off and I try to go right after I drop her off. I'm so grateful that I'm coming into a new me with like keeping my body clean, trying to work out, trying to eat the right thing. That doesn't mean I don't eat McDonald's. Please don't get it twisted. I'm not a guru. <laughs> okay. I'm nowhere near greatness. You know what I mean? But I'm so grateful that I'm trying. I'm so grateful that I'm consistent. Even on the days I go to the gym and the gym is whack for me, I still pat myself on the back because I went. You know what I mean? So please, 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 please. So we got the seven of cups with the six of pentacles. I already said the universe is blessing you with a lot of choices and decisions in front of you. And then with the wheel of fortune at the end, you know, the wheel of fortune is you. The, the wheel of fortune, not you. The wheel of fortune is about stepping on the wheel the right way. The, the um, Making the right decisions. Just making a decision, okay? The high priestess with the knight of pentacles with the three of swords is about you using your intuition. Getting out of your mind and using your intuition. I want to say get out of your heart too, but I want you in your heart space. But you, in order to be in your heart space, you got to learn how to start to heal, okay? I'm getting the word contribution. So I don't know if someone's giving a contribution to someone, a donation to someone, or if someone's contributing or donating to you. Then the next row is the tower with the temperance and the six of wands. The tower is, yes, something's about to be messed up. Or, or maybe you're going through that right now, tower moment. The temperance is about take your time as you go through it. Be patient with yourself. Be compassionate with yourself. The six of wands is that you're going to get through it. <laughs> okay? It's very simple. These cards are not easy, not hard to read. Okay? Um, the death card, shedding the old, coming into something new. You know what I mean? And that, I mean, I could go deeper into these cards, but the foundation is shedding the old, like getting new bedspreads. You should just clear your bed off and get new bedspreads. You don't have to have a 300 count. You should just get a new bedspread. Somebody could be doing their bed today or something like, like I said, Sunday's a big, is a big, um, cleaning day for people um shedding the old and putting new bedspread bringing new energy into your bedroom it could be something as simple as that you know what i mean um the the magician is right under the death card so they're saying it's on it's up to you to shed the old you they're not doing it for you <laughs> no it's up to you to make a decision and say you know what i'm gonna apply for that job you know what? Today, I'm going to do some self-care work. Today, I'm going to fast. Today, instead of crying about the person that I miss, I'm going to write him or her a letter. I'm going to I'm gonna light this candle and I'm going to pray today because today the veil is thin and I know that they can hear me. You see that? It's about doing it. Um, the death card, the magician to the six of swords mean everything is going to turn out in your favor. And that's not the justice card, but I'm just saying the six of swords mean you got through this chaos. You're going to get through this chaos. <clears throat> Spirit, talk to me. What do you want them to know? What do you want them to know? Thank you. Thank you. Laugh as much as you breathe. Love as long as you live. Have fun. Enjoy life. Enjoy life. Um, nurture relationships. I love that. They want you to to get out your head for a minute. Like get out of your head for a minute and just laugh and watch scary movies or watch a funny movie or go to a comedy show. Like think about fun stuff. You know what I mean? I love this card right here. This says, to praise the sun is to praise your own eyes. Seeing clearly, gratitude, happy with your life. I love it. You can't get no better than that. And I love that, the, um, the picture on here. Um, you have seen my descent. Now watch my rising. I love that. Breakthrough, success, overcoming all obstacles. And I feel like we got this the other day. Three more, please. What do you want the collective to know out of here? 
Thank you. Thank you. One more, please. Thank you. So we got forget safety, live where you, forget safety, live where you fear to live. That means forget the fear, step out the box, take a chance, dare to dream, risk pays off. I love it. I feel when I look at that picture, when I look at this, I think of Disney World. So maybe you have good memories from Disney World or you could be planning a trip to Disney World or you could live in Florida or something like that or Miami. Um, I don't know why I said Miami. Disney World is not in Miami. I don't know. Um, reason, reason is powerless in the face of love. Romance, communication, listen to your heart. Y'all should be listening to each other if you're in a relationship, but um, listen to your heart, but I also want you to listen to your intuition, okay? Uh, what is planted in your soul will sprout. Plant seeds and dedication. Plant seeds, dedication, your work is rewarded. Mm, I love it. Plant seeds, y'all. What do you want to do for 2025? Where do you want to be for 2025? Um, the moon is bright when it doesn't avoid the night. Hang in there. Be patient. You are on the right track. I love it. Danny Moon. <laughs> ah, one more, please. And then I want to get some angel numbers. Love is the bridge between you and everything. Connection, oneness, finding your way forward. I love it. I love it. I love it. And see that bridge, Miss McCoy, if you're watching this, that bridge in your office, that painting. Here's another one for you. That's right. <laughs> bottom of the deck says stop playing small you are the universe in a centric motion courage moving forward making progress making progress and taking action i love it all right y'all let's get some angel numbers for this beautiful sunday evening Spirit, talk to me for the collective. What do you want them to um, know out of here? What numbers you want for them? They're showing me 12, 12. That one, two, three. Four, 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 four. Triumph. We already talked about um, the six of wands. Triumph. Four, 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 four. Protection, baby. That's all I see. Um, that's all I see. Protection protection around the collective because they need us as much as we need them here we go spirit talk to me infinity eight i love it anything else for the collective thank you six one six again with this six okay sanctuary where's your sanctuary where is your sanctuary is it your altar? Is it in the closet? Where, where's your place that you go and pray? Five, five, five. And the butterfly change. I love it. One more, please, spirit. Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. Anything else? Oh. Listen, y'all, I don't make this up. <laughs> you might think I do, but I don't. <laughs> when spirit wants us to acknowledge something, they want us to acknowledge something. And I don't know what's up with the number six, but we got 666, reflect. So you need to reflect on the past because it's something got to be over. Like reflect on it, laugh about it, cry about it, and leave it. 
Okay. Also take from it, take accountability. Once tomorrow's Monday, let's go into the, into next week, starting tomorrow. Let's go into it, taking accountability, go into it as a new person, reflect on your past. Um, I want you to start listening more. I, I, some of you are like, I know, I know, I know type people. I want you to just start listening more. Okay. 1144 leveling up. I love it. I used to show Puda that number all the time because to me, I love 11. I'm a master number 11 and he was a master number 22 and 44 to me is two twos. Um, we got make a wish 1111. So right now let's make that wish. Thank you. We have 222 two, two alignment. We are all slowly moving into alignment. Okay? And we have 33 taking action in order to move into alignment. I love it. Bottom of the deck is 2134. And remember earlier I said 1234. Um achievement. Oh, I said 123. Achievement. Pat yourself on the back, y'all. Okay? There's a lot out there to achieve, especially moving forward, but there's a lot of achievements that you already achieved. Okay, pat yourself on the back. If you're going to reflect, look at all of the, the the accolades and the thing, the greatness that you that you have put into this world to make people better. Okay, 808, that's my number, security. Security, that's me. <laughs> I love it. All right, y'all, I'm about to go. I feel like there's some more in here for you. Oh, Poot is here. I see 14. 14, 14 is his number. I love it. And what is that? Adventure. I love it. Maybe y'all need to go on a trip. Maybe y'all need a, a, an adventure right now. You know, maybe you should plan for, plan for something. And look at that. 5-5 five, five, shift. Another butterfly. I love it. I'm going to end it there, y'all, because I could just keep going. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for supporting me. Y'all are the best, okay? I hope you have a beautiful um, week. And I want to tell you, like, I'm going to come back with the Aquarius video. But I have a reading to do tonight, so maybe I'll do the Aquarius reading tomorrow. Okay? Love you. Bye.